we reach the final straight, where the Indy Road course dumps us onto the start, finish stretch it shares with the oval track, and we hammer the throttle. The sound of the 6.4 liter V8 fills the cabin as the Durango revs. Shifts from the 8 speed automatic, we've left the steering wheel mounted paddles alone to focus on getting the vehicle around the 2.6 mile course intact, bring with them a burp of the exhaust that's absolutely stimulating. We feel heroic as the car jerks through the gears. For a naturally aspirated engine, we get the sense that this Durango has a healthy set of lungs. As we approach turn 1 again, we find that the Durango SRT's brakes grab firmly and have no trouble bring the Durango SRT's 5510 pound mass down to a manageable speed. We feel a little more confident as we corral the vehicle through the curves until one corner catches us just slightly off our guard. The Biguta plows a bit, and we mentally know that there's not much advance warning that the vehicle was about to give up grip, particularly as the body roll seems to dominate the cornering feeling. Fortunately, the Durango quickly recovers without commotion, and we're just slightly off our line and slower than we could be getting back onto full throttle as the track straightens out. A few more corners and we start to wish the seats had more bolstering as we begin to feel the fatigue that comes with trying to hold our body in place behind the steering wheel and the left knee pain that comes from leaning into the plastic of the door. We make it to the bricks again, fly past them, and head into our cool down lap. Our track drive doesn't leave us buying the line that the Durango SRT feels like a smaller car, but it definitely has the performance and handling capabilities of something in a smaller segment. The Durango SRT rewards smooth inputs from the pedals and steering wheel, and we come off the course with a smile on our face, amazed at the experience we just pulled off in such a big vehicle. After our track stint, we hop into a fresh Durango with our gear and head out on the highway for a bit, taking the long way between IMS and Lucas Oil Raceway, where we'd trade in the keys for those of the 2018 Dodge Challenger SRT Demon. With our heart rate back to a normal level, we're more inclined to play around with the Durango's features. We drive the car in both normal and sport mode and find the difference between those two to be slight, and either offers smoother shifts than track mode. In regular driving, when the goal isn't to get from one point to another as quickly as possible, throttle tip-in is a bit trickier to modulate. It's easy to dig a little too deep into the right pedal, joring your passengers and shifting around any cargo you have in back, as you pull away from normal stoplights.